Joining us now is Victoria Fernandez, Chief Market Strategist, Crossmark Global Investments. It's good to see you. Two-minute drill, Apple, you picked it last time, you're picking it this time, and boy, is a lot riding on it next week. Yeah, it sure is, Scott. But I mean, look, this is a name that you need to have in your portfolio. I know we have earnings coming next week, and there is some concern about the consumers in China. They're con concerned over streaming after the Netflix um, earnings that we saw. But this is a name, I mean, it's down 10% for the year. You can start building a position or adding to the position you have. You look last quarter, there was record demand for Mac products, for iPad products, and two thirds of new consumers or, new, or sales were new consumers consumers to Apple. So you talk about that ecosystem and bringing those people in where you upsell them on services. Service revenue was up 24 percent last quarter. So I think they're going to be pretty well situated, even though there's some obstacles in their way. You've added to your position as well. We have, yeah. I mean, it's a core position for us, but we like it on these down days to go in and add a little bit. We added this week to Apple, and we think that's the best way to approach it, small bites on down days to build your position. Okay. Union Pacific, controversial stock right now. Why do you like it here? Yeah, we do like this stock. Obviously, they had earnings yesterday. They um, did well, beat on both the top and the bottom line. You're looking at revenue growth of over 17% year over year, and it was broad-based, right? There was volume growth. There was price gains. They were able to pass along some of the fuel cost with higher fuel surcharges. And you look at the revenue per car load. That was up 12%, and coal was huge. There was a 49% increase in the revenue in regards to the coal car loads. And and if we continue to have issues with energy, I think you're going to see more of that. But as supply chains continue to be better, this company should continue to benefit from that. And operating ratios are solid. So I think when you have a 2% mm -hmm. dividend yield, this is a good right. name for your portfolio. I'll leave it there, Victoria. Thank you so much. You have a good weekend. We'll see you next week. We'll see what Apple delivers.